<laughs> the rest of the rest of the people, I'll be the judge. <laughs> so, we'll start with the client Hyundai Motor Company. Their New Horizon Studio. Um, they are building a research and development facility here in Bozeman as part of their Progress for Humanity vision. And so they make these two two sort of robotic things. They take conventional ground vehicles and they're changing them. Uh, there's the Elevate, which is this two-person vehicle, and then there's these uncrewed transforming excursion robots. But both of these things are what they call ultimate mobility vehicles. So let's see. Okay, so then thinking about the big idea of this project and, and what I wanted to sort of organize my decisions about was if Honda is making part car, part robot, could this be a, a part building, part robot? Or what is a building as a robot? So a sustainable, mythical robot is, was the words that I was thinking about. Mythical because Hyundai's, uh, they had this sort of uh, progress for humanity vision. And so humanity to me is about uh, storytelling. And so that's where the mythical idea came about. And then with some insight from Chris, we're taking these three ideas as, and merging them in a Venn diagram. So what does these inner spaces mean in regards to this laboratory? And interestingly enough, time was sort of the word that was, you know, was created from connecting these things. So, my first precedent is uh, Theo Jensen um, and his beach animals that operate with uh, wind power and they're incredible, their structures are made of recycled materials and they move uh, in a very interesting way. So it's like, this is the ultimate mobility studio, uh, so I immediately was thinking about Theo Jensen. My second precedent is this uh, factory um, made by Walter Gropius and this was after the Industrial Revolution, this uh, Walter Gropius wanted to make a building that was for the future of uh, what factories were. So, you know, opening it up to daylighting, like just the working conditions of the, the people that were actually there. I think that's what Hyundai is about. It's like connecting people with quality time. How can we connect our employees with, with better working conditions? Uh, the third precedent is um, Earth Worship Concept uh, by Michael Reynolds out in Taos, New Mexico. Uh, I really like the, the idea behind Earth Ships because they're autonomous. They have all these systems. They generate energy, they collect water, um, the growth of food, they have everything that is needed for basic survival, and it's made in a way that doesn't take. And so that's another thing about this studio and the robots is that they give, or they want to give to people. So here's the site. It's sort of nestled in between College Street and Garfield Street that go to the campus uh, to the east. The main pedestrian circulation is indicated with yellow, and there's some the predominant wind comes from the west here. But these are your main approaches. This is probably the main approach from Technology Boulevard. There's a bus stop up there. This is the new uh, new buildings being proposed for campus. This one's under construction. Same with this. And this road is actually under construction here. Uh, this is the wetland. So uh, here's a zoomed in uh, image of the site. The site slopes to the wetland here to the uh, northwest. So this existing ARL building, that's on the south side of the site. These are, these are uh, shadows that come from the, the ARL building, but on the winter solstice, so like really early in the morning and really late in the evening, the shadow would be cast. But for the most part, the site's not really affected by um, other objects that would cast a shadow on. Uh, here's the site section. The, so it slopes down to the, to the north, about 10 feet, from Garfield Street to Technology Boulevard. That's a green cone. That is this big tree in the wetland right there. There's only really one tree there, I think it's cottonwood, and everything else is just sort of marshy grassland. So here's the site, uh, zone BP, but it's moving to uh, B2, and um, I had my research that uh, B2 is less restrictive, uh, and then I uh, started to think about the program, and I just started with the laboratory space. Stretched out so that I have good solar access orientation, and this is sort of the required uh, square footage, so it's a 40 foot by 60 foot by 15 foot uh, box. So then we add more labs. Added a path that you enter from the east side. That's when you would start working in the morning. And then the reception, the, the, sort of the social program to the south. The exhibition, so reception leads to the exhibition. Then the lecture hall at the very end. And then one last piece of this program is this the skiff. And so this is just a simple grid uh, organization pattern. I played around with a couple other ones, but this was the I just wanted to start with the most uh, maybe most practical one that I could think of. Here's adding some parking space spaces. And then so the evolution. Okay, so then the it ray was born. And that, it, it wanted to change because a big part of this 
uh, program is this, the classification of the space. So there's a classified space and an unclassified space. And so I thought about like, how, to create, how to create hierarchy between the spaces. So in, in this case, the broken in gray is breaking off the, the CF. And this one, you're actually stacking the classified space above the, the social space. So orange is classified, yellow is public, unclassified, and the red is a super secret special program. And so this massing evolved over time. And I ended up with something along with the app has to stay playing. And I'll also explain that as I've been before. But I just want to show the evolution. Theo Jensen does something similar to this. And I thought it was an interesting way to think about it because if this is a research and development laboratory and they're making concepts, maybe they have iterations of that the elevate turns to the tie returns to this thing. So okay, so here's the concept development, just breaking up the space. The mythical the human starts to get the cluster of change while the machine, the robot, the lab, that stays linear. And then there's this this mythical robot, the connection between the two, maybe that becomes the CF. And then here, thinking about time, maybe the sphere, the circle is the future, the fossil or the, the triangle is the past. So this was one of the first iterations. This is the UK. Um, I'm just going to scroll through this because there's a couple of them. This is the image, I very ancient. Uh, think about the triangular, like the past, past the future, uh, all taken from sort of the broken luster clay scheme. This is the Earth's future. Possibly you can walk up on this absence pack all the way up here. Water collection, energy production, sun chain devices. This is the skiff sort of in this public plaza that you can't touch, you can only walk around or something. Uh, this is the broken luster clay, which is the one I took the furthest before everything switched to the Aston concepts. Um, Again, this is a skiff, so maybe we access it underground there. Um, but then this is the broken axe day, the axe split, uh, the ancient, the axe day Viking. So this is what I was thinking about, like the construction techniques of the past, but with technology of the future, trying to think about time. But things changed here and moved uh, more organically uh, because of one conversation with Chris about maybe there's a more modern way to do a structure versus using the old timber frame and structural brick. That I wanted to think about because of the Bozeman location. So then it turned into the outer pillar K large, which was really big, um, too big for this the program. So they got smaller. It shifted on the side a little bit, the, uh, the outer pillar K small. Then to the, the sort of final iteration of this, up to this point, which is the Omeo Badre 1000. Um, some ways to uh, get off here with the, with the, uh, from the classified space above to take the robots down into this public plaza. Truck maneuverability diagram here. This is sort of uh, the different entrances off of this main approach to technology boulevard. Um, so the yellow in the case of the public, while this would be more of a locked off uh, place here. Such a device to this a little bit. Uh, so designing the ecosystem, maybe there are these flying robots or drones or something in the future that could come off of the, the, this, um, this building and help the, the wetlands somehow. Or maybe these uh, robots do something else for the people in this public plaza. Uh, this Circular nature of the structure made me think of the, the wheel of time, which brought it back to this idea of falling time. Not exactly, like I'm still trying to think, think that one through. Uh, first level floor plan, so you, you can enter in these three areas here. Uh, that's the classified entrance, classified entrance, um, exhibition space, the lecture hall, you know, with big screen and, and um, deck here. You can get in and out of the lecture hall for both the north and the south, and likewise with this whole skip area that's private and back. So you can access it from the ground level here. But you can also go up the stairs to the classified labs, walk all the way over here, and access it from the, from the labs above. This is the second floor plan. Office space, water storage, electrical, heating, heating, uh, bathrooms, maybe where they're building these small excursion robots, and the bigger, the bigger stuff happens here, the bigger stuff happens over the skip. So, some cheating devices. Um, let's see, 13 foot ceiling height. Here's the, the private access to the second floor. Um, Energy and heat here. What makes the earth the fridge? I was still still trying to figure that out. <laughs> but it seemed like it needed to be there. It seemed like it needed to be there, yeah. But you, okay, so but then so then what's in the energy and heat? So that's possibly where the battery storage or any of that energy management stuff could happen from the solar uh, solar power here. And likewise with the heat, it's just the designated area. You say sort of plug in. Yeah. This is the big one that I'm trying to think about right now, is this these inner pieces here. Uh, you know, are they a greenhouse? Do you have indirect gain there, or do direct gains go all the way through? Could this be a living machine here? Is there a staff bed opportunity there? Uh, are those just between each of these sort of barrel ball trusses? So, so it's not like a continuous machine, it's just like a piece here, yeah, yeah piece here. Yeah. Yes. And maybe they all can do different things according to the ones about water, ones about heat. Um, that's the right way. Uh, 
uh, the electric hall down here, these big screen, the skip behind. Maybe that could be a see through into the skip. Um, and then it's all the furniture robotic. So are all these things, all, all these chairs are those robots. Uh, so it's searching the west. So that's looking at the skip. This is the circular robot that they're building that's top secret. Um, here, these, these are these pieces that are plugging in to that north to that north side to try to create some more, more of a buffer zone. And that's what I'm missing here a little bit. I, I, I believe it's more buffer zones between each one of these. In between them, this way, or between, like, when I come out of the, the, the bathroom, a buffer zone between there and the That, that too, that as well. And this is going to be a topic of some questions. Are you, are, 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 the, are the words on there just labeled for us? Or is that actually part of the graphics? Uh, that's labeling for me. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, and I want to be long, long space like this, so a form for heating and daylight. Oops. I hear the section cut through, looking at the south of the side there. You can look over. Uh, south elevation. Now, maybe though, these these areas do have a graphic up there that says something like lab one, two, and three. Uh, and then I was thinking about recycled metal from cars and appliances to achieve the, stru the structure as a finish. Um, Christian wood. And so that that's what I. Uh, that's what I have so far.